Differential calculus part two. Let's do this. Nice. A steeper line. A steeper line means a larger gradient. Meaning for every one you go across, you have to go up by a larger amount. In the first episode, we discussed straight lines. Look at the board. It is showing us a velocity time graph which describes the motion of a car. Now, you have three seconds to tell me what this diagram is telling us about the motion of the car. The answer you should have said is it's accelerating. You can see the speed of the car increasing. Now, what does acceleration measure? It measures the rate at which your speed is changing. So if it was a much steeper graph, the speed would be changing much faster, which means it's accelerating more noise. So the acceleration is equal to the rate of change of the velocity or speed. Now, where have we seen rate of change before? It's the gradient. How do we measure the gradient of a curve? It's not a straight line. Well, this comes to our first part of theory of differential calculus. Nice. And the theory says the gradient of a curve at a particular point is equal to the gradient of the tangent at that point. Now, a tangent is a straight line. Check the circle out. I have drawn a tangent, meaning a straight line, which meets our curve at one point. So the gradient of the circle at that point is equal to the gradient of that line, meaning the value of m in y equals mx plus c. Stay tuned for part three. Nice.